A rare sight is now becoming much more common. Take a look at some of the stunning images that CCO viewers captured overnight of the northern lights. A solar flare set off a geomagnetic storm that lit up the sky across Minnesota and Wisconsin. WCCO's Mary Elmose explains why we are seeing them more often in communities closer to the Twin Cities. I got a bag packed. I'm out the door. Professional astrophotographer Jacob Schlichter made his way to the nearest state park in his hometown of Albert Lee just before midnight on Sunday. He was lucky enough to capture these images. Suddenly everything is dancing just above me and it was like super magical. He's been taking pictures of the sky since 2016 and has never seen the Aurora Borealis this strong so far south. Being, you know, basically in Iowa, this far south in Minnesota, you know, it's that that's what sells it for me. And that's what really, really just the impressive part. It's not often we see that that far. And then WCCO meteorologist Chris Schaefer shares this chart showing how large this recent solar flare was. It stretched across Iowa and into parts of Missouri. If you miss this one, Chris says more large light shows are on the way. Solar activity peaks about every 11 years. And the peak is supposed to be actually next year, 2024 going into 2025. So we're nearing that peak and we've seen evidence of that. And if you want to capture one of those, here are some tips. First, use an Aurora tracking app. Refer to a light pollution map in your area and go to a spot with the weakest light. And use a long exposure on your cell phone camera. If you're stable, you know, you could pull off a one second standing exposure on your phone, which will be able to let in enough light. But remember, pictures aren't needed to enjoy these magical moments. It's just a reminder that if you take time to look around, there's a lot of beauty around us. Mary Elmo's WCCO News. A time frame to see these light shows are between fall and late spring.